Hi, I'm Nam Tandas. This is our project, Automatic African Music Genre Classification Using Machine Learning and Signal Processing Techniques. I did this project with my partner, Sipire, with the help of our supervisor, Prof. Oyerinde. We chose to focus on the three most popular Zulu music genres, which are Maskandi, Gom, and Gospel. As my partner has already introduced me, I'm Sipire Trilo. So the classification methods that we opted to use include the voting classifier, which ensembles three different algorithms, which are the SVMs, the KNNs, as well as the decision trees. Another method that we opted to use is to train a CNN using the first 13 MFCCs extracted from each song. And then we also trained a ResNet using the spectrogram images that we generated from the song. So the features that we extracted on each song include the timbral features, the rhythmic features, as well as the chroma frequency features. Our methodology started off with data collection. So we collected at least 100 songs for each genre, and then we pre-processed that data by converting all the .mp3 files into waveforms, and then extracting the 15-second segments from each song. We then went on to label each song based on the genre that it belongs to. And then we extracted the features that I already mentioned in the previous slide, and all those features were then fed into the different classifiers. So the voting classifier gave us an overall accuracy of 94%. Alongside is a confusion matrix which was generated from this. So for the second method, we trained the ResNet using the spectrogram images. So you can see that we trained the model over four epochs, and then we got an accuracy of over 90%. And then this is just the curve of the training and the validation losses alongside is a confusion matrix that was generated from this. For the final method, um, we, used a, we used a CNN which was trained with MFCCs. We actually achieved an accuracy of 94% and this is the model that is working on our web application. These are the tools that we used both for creating the models and for creating the web application. I will now take you through a short demonstration of our web application. This is the web application that we are building to demonstrate our models. I'm going to upload a song that I would classify as GOM and see how our model will classify it. Now I'm going to upload a song that I will classify as Maskandi and see how our model will classify it. Now I'm going to upload a gospel song. 